I used to work IT support for a fairly small company of around 80 to 100 users. The company was located in Fort McMurray, Alberta and dealt primarily with radio rentals for companies on the Syncrude and Suncor sites. Because of the small volume of tickets, we also did work for contract companies that needed text to do warranty work for things like Dell, Bell, Lexmark, Xerox, etc. This one day we get an email with a request from Bell to do a live upgrade at a police station in Turner Lake, Saskatchewan. I've never heard of the place and had to look it up. I emailed the contracting company and they insisted they got the right depot, as we were the closest, geographically, to the customer. Turns out we're roughly on the same latitude, about the same distance from the Alberta slash Saskatchewan border on each side of it. Plotting a course to it, however, involved taking an ice road, which wasn't frozen over at this time of year. Otherwise, it was a 12-hour trip one way, down to Edmonton, across the border then north again to Turner Lake. There was a significant safety issue here as I would have to go alone, and I don't believe there were any accommodations in the small town for an overnight trip. The safety officer said no to the drive but decided to arrange a flight from me instead. He booked a helicopter charter from Fort McMurray to Turner Lake. Phoenix Heliflight was the company, with jet black helicopters and orange red Phoenix birds painted on the side. Great company to fly with. I didn't want to think about the bill. Granted, the cost would be charged to the contractor company, which then would be passed to Bill. Booty digressed. So instead of a 12-hour drive, it was a leisurely 45-minute flight by heli first time ever on a helicopter and I will never forget the experience stop my manager had to get in on the trip and came along. One sitting in the front with a full 180 degree view, the other in the back end, switching places on the way home. The whole trip to another province took merely the morning and we were back in the office. But the ironic part of the story happens at the customer site. We ended up landing in their hockey arena parking lot as it's the only place big enough. With snow all over the ground and kicking up high in the air. It's safe to say we attracted quite a bit of attention in the small town. An officer picked us up in his truck and literally drove us to the station, a converted mobile trailer just down the road. My job, remember, was to upgrade their internet line by flipping a few switches on the back of their router and a bell direct me on which ones. They would then do a test to make sure it's all good, then I can leave. So when we arrived, there was a tech already there from Sastel pulling cables and whatnot and taking up all the room in the small data closet that held the networking gear. I waited for him to finish while my manager chatted up the officer about the flight. I watched him as he connected, 